Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how influencers make money online. So I wanted to touch on this topic because I feel like a lot of people don't understand that you can make money off of social media, being an influencer and recommending products and having an influence over a group of people. So I wanted to share a little bit more about that and just talk on how you can make money online. There's gonna be two platforms we're gonna be talking about. The first one will be Instagram and the second one will be YouTube, which are two of the main platforms that I use online. First, we're just gonna talk Instagram and Instagram is going to be like short and sweet. YouTube, there's a little bit more to it. So basically on Instagram, a company will reach out to you or you will reach out to a company and you guys will agree that you both want to work together. You're gonna to talk terms and what the company wants versus what you want and then you're going to get a link from the company. They're going to send you product, whatever their product may be. Totally depends on what your Instagram is about. They will send you the product and then you will do the post. So you can either do the post for money and product or if you aren't a big influencer and you don't feel like you have enough followers to do product and money, you can just do product as well. So with that, if you're doing promotions with brands that you actually enjoy and products you really want, then you are actually saving money because you don't have to go out and buy those products. You can just get them for free with doing an Instagram post. So you're still saving money in that way, but also you can earn a little bit extra if you do have that higher following. So once you guys kind of work out your contract and all that, then it comes down to the posting. So there's two ways you can kind of get some money on Instagram through posts. The first would be a timeline post and a timeline post is a little bit more permanent, whereas the story post is not. So a timeline post, you're going to have to get the product, go out, shoot the photos, um, edit the photos to match your feed, and then of course, submit them with the caption for review. Once they are okayed, you can go ahead and post them. So when you are posting them, you're gonna to wanna to tag the brand and use their hashtags or anything like that and have a creative caption that is going to inspire other people to buy the product or check it out. On the flip side, there is the story post, which is a little bit simpler. You kind of just shoot and are done with it. So you also have to submit that one as well, depending on the company, of course. But what you're gonna do is you're going to film the Instagram story and then you're going to just put the hashtags and tag the company and post it. So that one, like I said, is a little bit shorter and a little quicker to do. However, it still does require some of your time. So for a story post versus a timeline post, I would say you would charge a little bit less for the story post because like I said, it's easier and it's not on there permanently. It goes away within the 24 hours unless you save it into a highlight, but that's still not really a benefit for the company. They want something that's going to be there long-term. So that's pretty much it for Instagram. You can make money by posting pictures and by putting up little videos incorporating the brand into them. You can also use IGTV, which I have not dabbled into using for brand deals or anything like that, but definitely something that you could make some money off of with brands as well. So now moving on to YouTube, which is where you can make a good amount of money online. So for video Videos, you're gonna have to put a little bit more effort in as opposed to doing an Instagram post. So after you've worked out everything with the brand, you're going to need to think of your idea. You're going to need to film it, edit it, upload it, have the description, have a title, and create a thumbnail, which is definitely a lot of work. So there's gonna be two ways on YouTube that you can actually earn money. So one is going to be through the dedicated videos that you're gonna be posting about certain items that you're getting and products. So a dedicated video, you're gonna make more money than if you did a mentioned video. So a mentioned video is going to be something where you kind of just mention the product and then you move on. Whereas a dedicated video is going to be something a little bit more specific to the product you're receiving. The whole idea is going to be around that product. So something like a haul or a review would be more of a dedicated video. So in a video where someone's talking, they interrupt it to talk about Skillshare and then they move on and continue with their video. That's gonna be something that is more of a mention as opposed to a dedicated video. So again, for those, you have different prices that you can charge. So a dedicated video, you can charge more than a mentioned video. And again, you're gonna get product. So that's gonna save you on 
buying those items so say it's clothing you're going to save on buying clothes and you're also going to make a little bit of money on the side so the products you're going to be receiving and the companies that are going to be contacting you should be related to your brand so if you're working with a company it's going to be something that you're actually interested in and want to have with that you're again saving money on the product and then you're also getting a little bit extra for the creative process of making a video so the next way you can make money off your videos is going to be by putting ads on them. I don't get to choose the ads, however, I do get to choose the placement of them if, if I want to, or YouTube can choose that as well. So they're going to monetize your video and put ads on it so that you can make more money on the side. I find you make a little bit less off of the ads as opposed to your brand deals. However, it is still a way to make money online. The more videos you post, the more opportunity you have to make more money off of those videos. And the more opportunity it is for other brands to see your videos and wanna work with you. Now I just have a few other things that people do that I personally don't do. However, there are definitely ways you can make money as well as an influencer. But one of them is going to be affiliate links. When an influencer promotes a product or talks about something that they bought potentially with their own money or that they were sent, they may link it. So in the description, there's gonna be links. Some of them are just trackable links to see their traffic and others are going to be actual affiliate links where if you click on it and buy the product, they get a portion of the earnings from that product. And that is an affiliate link. So Amazon does it, a lot of stores do it. Um, and it doesn't really take away from the consumer. It only benefits the person who's getting the money. And obviously the company wants traffic driven to their website. So they're going to allow affiliate links because they want people to go to their website and the influencers have that drive to push people to the website and then they will buy. So they do get compensated for that. Another way is going to be a commission based collab. So it's kind of like affiliate links but if people buy the product, they get a commission. I prefer just to do money for the work that I'm putting out right away because commission could go either way. It could go really well and you make a lot of money or it could go not so well and you don't make as much money. So that's just another option for you. And the last one is going to be merch. A lot of your favorite YouTubers probably have merch. That is just another way that they can promote themselves to their audience. So people walking around with sister hoodies for James Charles or anything like that. So the company that's making them is going to make a percentage and then they're going to make the rest because they're the person driving the traffic. They're the reason people are buying and they're going to be promoting it. All the company does is create the merch. So with that, they can also make a lot of money off of it depending on how many pieces they sell. But of course, these ones I don't personally do, but they are definitely good ways to make money online for influencers. But those first two ways on YouTube and Instagram are going to be how you can make money online and how I make money online. So although you do it and you enjoy it and it's something fun that you do, it's also a job and it requires a lot of creativity and effort and timing and scheduling and just being on top of things. So it's not something that it's just super easy. You can film whenever you want. You can do whatever you want. It is actually a job still and you do get paid for it. So I just wanted to make this video to show everyone that influencers do make money and how they can make money online. So with that being said, I think this is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn that bell notification on so you get notified whenever I post. If you do not get notifications and you haven't seen a post from me in a while, I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I have a bunch of new fall related videos, so I definitely recommend checking those out. But that is everything, so I hope you have an amazing day, week, month, or year. I love you, and remember to always be nice to people. Bye!